Hello, so today we are going to discuss Life Park Chapter 10, Question 1. So let's look at the question first. 1a. The vertical position y of a particle along x axis under periodic vibration is described by the equation y equals to 0 0.3 sine bracket i bracket t over 3 plus 4x. And where y and x in meters and t in seconds the first question is calculate the period and wavelength and before that let's settle the equation first so you see a bracket there so the thing you have to do is expand it and expand this this and we get the equation y equals to 0 0.3 sine bracket pi over 3 t plus 4 pi x and I have written down the general equation to do some comparison later. Okay, first question, calculate the period and wavelength. So first, T. So before that, we look at the triangle first. We use omega to find period. And because omega is equal to 2 pi over t and, and then omega is equal to 2 pi f and then period is equal to 1 over f and frequency is equal to 1 over t so let's come back to the question we write the equation first omega equals to 2 pi over t and we get the value of omega by comparing the equation just now pi over 3 equals to 2 pi over t then we do multiplication t equals to 6 pi over pi then we do some simplify cut cut and we will get the answer T is equal to 6 seconds. Okay. Next we are finding the wavelength. We use K equals to 2 pi over lambda. Then we get the K by comparing the value again. K is equal to 2 at uh, 4 pi. Then 4 pi. 4 pi is equals to 2 pi over lambda. And then we do cross multiple. So lambda is equals to 2 pi over 4 pi. Then we simplify it. Cut, cut. So 1, 1 and 2. 1 over 2. And the answer is 0 0.5 meter. So the next question, my rational velocity of the particle at x equals to 0 0.6 m when t is 3 seconds. Okay. We have to do some differentiation for this question using chain So, number 2. V, Y. Also, V, Y. T. Then we have to differentiate the whole equation just now. It's 0 0.3 sine 4 pi x. Then we differentiate and close the bracket. 0 0.3. Differentiate the sign become cos. Copy the whole thing. Pi over 3. T plus. Four pi x. 
and then don't forget to differentiate the thing inside the bracket become i root 3 then we expand it we will get the vy is pi over 10 plus pi over 3 t plus 4 pi x So, and t equals to 3, and x equals to 0 0.6. So, y equals to i over 10, bracket, cos i over 3, and t is 3 second, plus 4, i, x, and x is 0. Point six. Then we cut the three and three. Then we press calculator. We will get the answer negative zero point zero nine seven meter per second. Okay, next, calculate the wave propagation velocity. 2 and 3 are finding velocity, but actually they are different things. So let's say I have a wave here. Then to find the wave speed, we use V equals to F lambda. And there are many, many particles. Let's say we take one of the particle and it will also up and down so the velocity of the particle is vibrational velocity okay let's come back to the question number three so we are finding the wave speed so v equals to f lambda and you will know that f is one over t then times lambda will be 1 over 6 times 0 0.5 and we'll get the answer 0 0.083 meter per second okay next the first order frequency of a column in an open pipe is 140 hertz and given the speed of the sound in air is 340 meter per second so calculate the length of the air column so we extract all the information that we know first f2 is 440 hertz and v air is 340 meter per second so this is the length of air column that we have to find l and then the distance between an empty node and node will always be lambda over 4 so there are lambda over 4 here, 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 and here then we can write it as length L equals to 4 times lambda over 4 then we cut it, cut the length equals to lambda and then we okay, so we, and this is lambda 2 then we manipulate the equation lambda 2 as the subject lambda 2 equals to v air over f2 then I bring this thing to here so l is equal to v air over f2 okay and now we refer back the information 340 divided by 440 and then now we get the answer 0 0.77 meter 
Okay, next question. Sketch a standing wave indicating the nodes and anti nodes. So, for this kind of question, I will sketch the wave pattern for the fundamental frequency first as reference. So, this is an open pipe. This will end because so 1, and this will be always be A and A. And there is N between them. Then this like this and like this. Okay, so for first overtone is equivalent to second harmonic, which is n equals to two. And here it will always be anti notes, anti notes. So for first overtone, I will think it like it's another notes inside. So here one note, another note, and anti notes between them. So for anti notes, we label it. At the point that have maximum amplitude and not at the point that have no amplitude. Next question: the tension in the fifty cm guitar string of mass zero point five gram is eighty newton. When the string is plugged, calculate the velocity of the transverse wave on the string. So extract all the information here and change it to SI unit, and we have these two equation, which is V is equal to square root T over mu, and mu is the mass per unit length. And we already have the value for length and mass, so we just substitute it, which is 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 0 0.5, which is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 kg per meter. Bring this value here, and then we get v string is equal to the square root t. We have the information 80 newton, so 80 divided by 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Then press the calculator, we get the answer. 282.84 meter per second. Next question we are finding the fundamental frequency and first order frequency. So we can draw the wave pattern for the fundamental frequency in the string first and label the nodes and anti nodes and be distance between them is lambda over 4. So to find the fundamental frequency, we are using V, the equation for the wave speed, V equals to F1 lambda, and to change the F1 as a subject, become V over lambda. Then we can find the lambda from here, we write this line equals to there are 2 times lambda over 4. Simplify it, become 9 equals to lambda over 2. Change the lambda as subject, become 2 L. Again, I bring this thing to this equation, it will become F1 equals to V over 2L. So for V, we can get it from the previous question. Here, and length from the question here. So it is 282.84 over 2L is 0 0.5. Then we get the answer 282.84 Hertz. Next, we are finding the first overtone frequency. Well, for this question, actually, we can use the equation Fn equals to Nf. 
one. The first over turn means the first going over the fundamental tone, which is the first harmonic. So first over turn is means second harmonic. So it means that n equals to two. N is based on harmonic, not the over turn. So we substitute n with two f2 equals to 2f1 so substitute the value 2 times 2.84 if we get the answer 5.68 5 hertz Okay, next question. A man stands by the roadside when an ambulance passes by him with constant velocity 80 meter per second. The ambulance and its sound with frequency 256 Hz. The speed of sound is 340 meter per second. So calculate the apparent frequency of the siren heard by the man before the ambulance passes by him. And apparent frequency is the observed frequency. Like this diagram, in this case, the man is the observer and the balance is the source and it's moving with a constant velocity, Vs and S is stand for the sound source So, extract all the information from the question Vs is equal to 80 meter per second Fs, 156 hertz and V is 340 meter per second so we are finding the observed frequency. So this is Doppler effect. We have this formula. And since the observer is not moving, then we can just cut it off and consider about the denominator. So write it as V over V plus minus Vs times Fs. Okay, when the ambulance is approaching to the man because it's before it passes him so the frequency will become higher so we make the denominator to be smaller and we manipulate the plus and minus so f o equals equals to v over v minus v s times f s and we can just substitute the value we refer back the value so v is 340 and vs is 18 meter per second so v340 over 340 minus 18 times the fs fs is 256 times 250 Six. We get the answer two seven zero point three one hertz. So that's all from me. Thank you.